we are ever joyful as we celebrate in this online worship. We are also joyful for our in-person worship. We are encouraged by the rate of COVID vaccinations and the changing safety recommendations. We share our concerns for Pastor Lori during her recuperation. We also extend our concerns for all our members of our faith family, friends, and loved ones who are experiencing misfortune. At this time, let us be in a silent, prayerful attitude. Dear God, how difficult it must have been for the disciples to have again spent time with the risen Christ to only be confronted with his upcoming return to God. They wanted to keep him near them forever, but he was called back home to his father. He understood their fears and their concerns and offered to them a sense of what they must do. They must truly love each other as God has truly loved each one of them. Can we do any less? We are called to love one another here with the kind of love that Christ displayed. Patient, respectful, strong. Our world would have us believe that love is the emotion which is manipulative. We love in order to get what we want. How sad it is. We are called to a higher understanding. Love must take the form of service and compassion, of hope and proclamation, of patient waiting and urgent striving for the good of all people. Open our hearts today, Lord, and imprint your message of love upon them that we say and do is done in your name and for the sake of your people and your world as we pray your prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. Please join me responsively in our call to worship. It is not difficult to be God's beloved child. We are called to obey God's commandments and live in God's love. The way which God ordains are ways of peace and love. We love of God shall conquer the world. Rejoice, O people of God, for God is near. Praise God for God's power and might, God's love and peace. Our scripture reading this week comes from 1 John chapter 5, and it's verses 1 through 6. It's titled, Faith Conquers the World. Everyone who believes in Jesus is the Christ has been born of God, and everyone who loves the parent loves the child. By this we know that we love the children of God, when we love God and obey his commandments. For the love of God is this, that we obey his commandments. And his commandments are not burdensome, for whatever is born of God conquers the world. And this is the victory that conquers the world, our faith. 
Who is it that conquers the world but the one who believes in Jesus is the Son of God? The next part is called the testimony concerning the Son of God. This is the one who came by water and blood, Jesus Christ. Not with the water only, but with the water and the blood. And the Spirit is the one that testifies, for the Spirit is the truth. The Word of God for the people of God. Thanks be to God. Please watch our pre-message video. It's titled, How Well Do Kids Know Their Moms? <laughs> 